welcome to another episode of the Back Catalog Podcast. This is the podcast where we, and by we I mean me, Apo, and my co-host slash co-founder Vincent, we dive into Disney Plus streaming service and we tell you, the listener, and the viewer, I pointed to them on the listener, but I meant you know, viewer, Yeah. what is worth it and what is not. And we're back into the Disney Plus streaming service. We had fun in Netflix last week. We did. We had a lot of fun. I don't know if anyone else had fun, but we had a lot of fun. We saw it and we had some fun. Oh, bro, I had a lot of fun. Like when you were going through those Instagram clips, I was like, which one are we going to use? <laughs> which one are we going to use, Vince? Oh, but this is, this is uh, your pool guru <laughs> requested. <laughs> you specifically, the, the, the viewer and the listener. Yeah, dude. For all your pool needs, you got to visit. I mean, it's not your pool guru. It's my pool guru, but he is your pool guru well when he's your pool guru he'll from your perspective he'll be my pool guru yeah that's exactly right if I were you you would be saying he's my pool guru okay (laughs) I'm glad we cleared up any confusion here because people were confused that's right like not as much as they are now but they were confused that's right so shout out Jared for you know for just saying you gotta do Lion King at some point and also shout out Jared for for just listening to like the content and the reason that Jared found the content was because another friend of the show, Jaden, shared it to his Instagram. Bro, these are a lot of people that I don't know who they are, but you know, this is hey. this is this is good for me, you know? But the thing is get some more Jays. You get some Jacobs. Get some J Anthony's. Start a group. Start a group. <laughs> the smoking Jays. Sm- no, like no. you're all good you're all good looking people oh, with, okay. with a you know, first name J. First name J. So what I'm saying is, hey, if you if you enjoy the content Share it with your mates. Only if their names have J's at the start. Yeah. But please share it with your mates. But she, yeah, like, like I, was, I almost said, Jesus, like, please. <laughs> like, Jesus, please. Please, please. please <laughs> We're going us. under here. We, 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 you know, like, our, our, our operation is being, like, taken down from the inside. Yeah. The amount of spam emails that we got. Oh, yeah, we can, bro, we'll talk about that in, in, the, in the Patreon content. All I'm saying is, <laughs> if, there, if there's a tricky bugger out there that's been putting our emails on things, that's hilarious. <laughs> But fess up to your crimes, yeah, please. Bro, Apo messaged me today. He said, bro, what's going on with our email? I said, our spam filter has gone on holiday. And I don't know where he, she, or it has gone because this, this is a travel ban. We've got lockdown, lockdowns in Victoria. Dude, New South ben Wales Andrews looks like Andrews is not, not at the, the helm because, you know, man slipped and fell. Dude, man slipped and fell. Like, proper. Yeah. Well, hopefully, Dan, like, you're doing all right. And I hope you find this hilarious. <laughs> I don't know who knows that joke. Yeah, I think it's just our joke. I think so, yeah. yeah but that's okay. We said it on one of the Patreon episodes. So if you want to find out, if you, if you, it's killing you that you can't find out that joke, you have to sign up to the Patreon. And you can just listen to, I think it's episode yeah, five or six or something. And then you can just get off the Patreon. Also, again, we have merch. And if you want cheaper merch, pay $2 on the Patreon, you get cheaper merch. You have $5 off. That's Matt's. That's deals as well. So I'm going to get into this, Vincent, because today we are doing a very special movie for the Pool Guru, but also a very special movie for me. We're doing 1994's very own The Lion King. This came out a long time ago. It did, bro. We did, we came out a long time ago. Right, if this did. came out a long time ago, we came out a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? All right, give us some, some facts. And so, some, Vincent, some you know I like to do this on this show. You know I like to give you facts, and you know I like to stole until I've got the facts up. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So this has got 8.5 out of 10 on the IMDb, which seems low. This has got the 93% on the Rotten Tomatoes. Now, it had an estimated, and by estimated I mean exactly, budget of 45 mil, and it made 1.084 billion. That's a lot. That's a lot of million for an animated movie. But you think they probably take took four or five trips to Africa. To see how see the gate of them lions, you know. Yeah, dude, I, I watched that. I was watching a bit of a documentary last night on this. Yeah, like just a short documentary. You know, Disney Plus, they be thought I just heard like music playing. Disney Plus will provide you with some documentaries and whatnot. And not only did they go to those places, they had lions just on on hand. I was just like, hey, let's just put this lion on this stage and look at it. That's why I imagine. Yeah, no, that lion. Look at look at how the the front paw goes, and then the the, the rear paw follows. Yeah. Dave, uh, he's getting pretty close. Yeah, but look at the gate. Yeah, see how he opens his mouth. He's got his jaws wrapped around your head. Write that down. <laughs> like Dave, like his skin is off now. It's Bro, been slapped he, off. He's, he's absolutely slapped. The, he's absolutely bitten the skin off this man. 
<laughs> so, do you want me to give you the synopsis? Because I, I, this is a movie where I want to hear some Google questions from you, Vince. Yeah, this that, is where I think there could be some fire. So, I'm going to give you the synopsis. Yeah, this is- <laughs> we'll do some Google questions okay, and we'll get into this. synopsis. So, a cub who can't wait to be king finds his place in the circle of life. So they're just bringing out the hits from the movie. They're not telling us what's going on. They're just bringing out the hits they from the movie. They could have just said yeah. Circle of Life and the, the song at the start, you know, Haas Venya or whatever. The, that's all they had to say. That's absolutely correct, man. All right, so you want me to give you some... Uh, Dude, I'd, I, I would love nothing less at this point. Then look, like we're, we're sweater we're gang also, today. Yeah, yeah, dude, these are knitted. Yeah, dude, we're, we're sweater gang. That's 100% industry, isn't it? <laughs> is it <laughs> that's do that's I wear what, anything else? Bro, you don't wear anything else. All right. Why did the Lion King get bad reviews? Bro, that's wild. I want to hear it though. The general. Oh, this is the new one. Well, <laughs> well, there you go. There you bloody go. All right. Well, here we go. Is the Lion King based on the Bible? For all you religious heads out there, that's that's wild. Did you know that the story of the Lion King was inspired by two great biblical figures, Joseph and Moses? I, I did see some parting of like Red Seas. Did you? <laughs> uh, who is Nala's dad? Yeah, dude. He, Mufasa. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Because there's only like, this, say, is, this yeah. is the thing <laughs> that we're going to talk about. There's only one, like when we're talking about lions, there's like there's one, one, there's one alpha male who just sits there and he does, you know, bro, this alpha is, male things in that space. Bro, we're lucky we didn't get a Game of Thrones spinoff from this. Yeah. You well, know? I mean, that's, that's, that's what happens. Game of Thrones style, I should say. Is Mufasa a god? Mufasa, like God, will be in heaven watching over Simba. All right. That's that's quite nice, I guess. Yeah. What, is Simba a Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> is he a Jesus? i got to find out this. Simba can be seen as a prominent example of a Christ figure in the movie for several reasons. Dude, that hurt my stomach as well. Like, is he a Jesus? He's a Jesus. As in, if he was, if this was translated into some Spanish language, uh. it, would it translate roughly to Jesus? <laughs> you know, that's that's what I, that's what I'm getting from this. Man, those are the questions. Those are the hard hidden questions. Are you got any more on there? That's it. Nah. No, those are, that's that's pretty far. What to end off on? You know, what does Nala mean in Swahili? It means queen, lion, and successful woman. What does Nala mean in Zulu? Plenty, abundance. You want to know what Nala means? What in does different languages? Here we go. What does Nala mean in Aboriginal? It means earth. Man, it means a lot of good things. What about, what does Nala mean in Sesotho? Sesotho. Yeah, remember, that's someone's language. Don't don't make flight. I'm, I'm not trying to. <laughs> what does it mean, though? Bro, this is the coat of arms of Lesotho. I don't know what that is, but anyone from Lesotho... Or if that's a country, and I'm 100% do not know. If you're listening, shout out you. Maybe it's a, a province. So, Vince, it could be a province. Yeah, anyway, that's yeah. it. So, Vincent, I'm going to hit Dude, now you we're with just some... Dude, now we're just getting 100% Aboriginal questions. That's all we're getting. We're just getting... And so, 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 so. All right, that's it. <laughs> Maybe just like later, and you can just add it in in post, just the... Google Translate, you know how they like, you press the button and later yeah, no, says I'm, it I'm for not you. doing that, that's too much work. You could do that in post. I, I could, but I won't. <laughs> so I want to give you some some key points that we're going to we're gonna hit on, some talking points. Yep. And then we'll just- Do you want me to take minutes? The, yeah, take some minutes. We'll yep. get into the hits and the misses. So a thing that I want to talk about, and a thing that, I mean, if you're, if you're coming to the Lion King podcast or the Lion King movie or any Disney animated movie, you're coming for some music. I want to talk about the music in this movie. Of course, I want to talk about the characters and the actors that play them because I think there's some hilarious choices. And I'm going to talk about the hits and misses, but, you know, even before that, Vincent, we got to talk about, like, Mufasa, like, what's what's his deal, bro? Uh, you know, what is he doing here? You know what I'm saying? No, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> well, we'll get into that. I'm more confused than I was prior when I was talking about my versus your pool guru. So... <laughs> But there's a meme in that though. Uh, there's a meme in trying to figure <laughs> out like what it is. I don't know what the meme is, but it's it exists. So Vincent, do you think we should start off with the music of this movie? Or just give a more general synopsis of what actually happens in this movie? Yeah. Kid's father dies. He gets pl- blamed for the murder. His uncle, who has a scar and is called Scar. Yeah. 
You know, if you just called me glasses, it'd be similar. <laughs> well, I mean, glasses, jacket, shirt, man. Glasses, like, jacket, He was called that. That's right. And he was super hot fire. He, he absolutely was. Yeah. Uh, you know, kid goes to the, the jungle, you know, meets some more some more folks who live a bit care, more carefree, yeah. comes back, kills his uncle, Dunzel. <laughs> That's the movie, man. That that See, this is another reason why Disney need to give us some money so we can, one, fix up their synopses on... And it's just on the phones. Like, their synopsis on, on oh, compu- they got- computers and on the Apple ah, TVs okay. is different. So the apps, the apps they got. Oh, what I'm saying is you get us linked in with, like, the phone guys. With the we'll phone do phone guys. things and, and everyone else can do whatever Hello, they Disney, can I talk to your phone guys? <laughs> yeah, yes, I'm the phone guy. <laughs> That's what you get. I'm just stuck here now. Like, <laughs> is there any further that I can go? So... What was I, what was I saying before? We're talking about the songs, I think. Oh, you no, you did you did your your synopses. Oh yeah, let's talk about the songs because let me tell you one thing. One Hans Zimmer's is involved in this. If we got a Hans and a Zimmer involved, I that's big don't time news. Think I've liked any of the songs in any of the Disney movies so far, except these ones are actually pretty decent. Yeah, the, I, I'm I'm not going to lie, but this I reckon there's only one song in this whole in this whole movie that is not a certified slapper. Well, can't wait to be king. That slaps. Circle slaps. of life slaps until they start singing in English. That still slaps, dude. It nah, that didn't do especially it for me. Especially with As, actions like the, the you see you're like an elephant, like yeah, on his two back legs. All they needed to say was, you know, it's the circle of life. They could have just said that, and I, I would have been happy. Yeah. The like, rest of it, I was listening to the lyrics, and it's like, yeah, this is like it, it like flows between us and this whatnot. Is, this is average, you know. <laughs> it's average at best. Yeah, yeah. No, that's you know, that's this absolutely is, this correct. Is J Cole's newest album. <laughs> Yeah, hey, shout out you, J. Cole. If you're listening, uh, don't roast us because, like, you you have the firepower behind you to roast us. <laughs> like, you you are – like, his, his job is to make lines in a song. Yeah, that's right. You know? Our job is not to do that. We don't have the roasts on hand, but he'll have something, you know? He'll call you glasses, man. What will he call me? Dude, you know? I, don't, I don't know. I don't want to be here to witness that. I don't want to find out either. I apologize. There's... I apologize, uh, <laughs> Mr. Cole. Mr. Cole. We Mr. Apologize. Real Cole World. So – I, I no, I, I do understand that, but I I do think that that opening in itself. Oh yeah, like no, I mean, still, I it mean, still didn't take away from the the greatness of the opening sequence. Yeah, and and a certified slapper, we should we should clarify as well. A certified slapper is a song that stands alone. Yeah, and you can as smack someone in the head with you because because it's so good. That's right, and it hard, it's hard. But a certified slapper stands alone from stuff that's going on on screen. Yeah, you know, if you see something. And like there's all this crazy stuff going on on screen. You're like, man, this this song is like really good. But then you hear the song and you're like, they both they both work together to bring each other up. It's harmonious. It's the circle of life, bro. Oh, dude, are we here? We're here. Are we here? We're and going we're full here. circle. Bro. We- <laughs> so we're going full circle of life. Uh, the the only song that I that I have. Yeah, I was gonna ask which one's the one that you don't like. I just don't as much like like the one when like it's like I'm I'm Hitler and you guys are all like the Nazis. When what? Scar's like dealing with his like, you know, they're they're setting up. I can't remember what the, the name of the song oh, is. I don't remember that one. And there's all the green gaseous things coming oh, up. Oh yeah, yeah. And he's talking about, you know, he's like, you know, I'm he, Scar. I've got a Scar. I've got a real name, but yeah, just call me Scar. Like obviously, there's some trauma associated with me. Like how have I been along for so long? And you know, yeah. everyone's exiled me. Because he is the he's not the alpha male. I guess that's why he's exiled. Yeah. Does that mean Mufasa gets to procreate with all the? Females, all the females. Scar gets Scar just sitting there with Zazu. Zazu, <laughs> you know, he, he's he's in the uh, whatever them lands in the Badlands, like bad with, lands. with all those, with all those what I guess are hyenas, hyenas. But also, I was like, I was about to say with all those, you know, the elephant elephant uh, graveyards and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. For some reason, I was like, what are they, woolly mammoths? <laughs> <laughs> what like, are no, those we- things with tusks? <laughs> I was like, no, we we have those. Like they they they're not that. Yeah. Well, they are wild. Like they, when you see the skull of an elephant, you're like, that's prehistoric. It's crazy. That's yeah, it's prehistoric. Crazy. It's just bone, tusks. Yeah, and the tusks just keep going. They just keep going, dude. And like like think about think about a like a trunk. Think about that thing just waggling around. Yeah, bro, that doesn't show up on the skull. No, that's just hundred percent cartilage. That's cartilage. And, and shout out to the, apparently they're doing some 3D printing and they're adding some things to it so you know rhinoceros horns oh yeah did you see that to, as uh, instead of ivory yeah that kind of thing yeah that's good things that's good things man hopefully rhinoceros rhinoceros rhinoceroses 
Rhinoceros can just like live just doing circle of life things. Oh, rhinoceros are so wild. They're so cool when people come on, man. That's another that's another atom where I look at it. I'm like, how does this exist on our planet? Crazy. That's crazy. There's just some there's some, Zamb- some ambulances. Amb- ambulances. But you know, the, you know, this is a great movie just to think like, man, look at all these animals. Yeah. Look at all like look how crazy this world is. And also 100% the people from the animation studio were just Was that Pixar? That wasn't Pixar, was it? No, no, no. no. I don't think at that stage. No, I, don't I don't think, think Disney so. and Pixar had No. Uh, anyway, the animators that went to Africa, they just went there because they had, you know, dollars to spend. Well, because I mean, yeah, okay, you can judge the animals, but at the end of the day, they're, they're doing dancing. You know, they're not looking at that. <laughs> then I got, all right, I'll get that da- elephant to hold up the giraffe, <laughs> wave its neck around, and then have, you know, flamingos on top of that. Yeah. yeah. And then we could animate it, write it down so we can translate it to the movie. Yeah. Speaking of the animators, right? I was watching this documentary, and, and it's some like, you know, when you're working with Disney, even, a, even in 1994, there's some like Illuminati type stuff going on there, right? And they sort of bring this to light a little bit here where they, to choose what movie they wanted to animate for and they, they you know, that they wanted to do as, as animators and be involved in as creators, they went to like a wine and cheese night at some man's house and they had like images, like drawings from one of the, for, so it was Pocahontas and it was Lion King and everyone went to Pocahontas because like Pocahontas, apparently, the art, like look, they showed the art and thing, looked amazing. So you're going to see that, you're like, imagine what I can animate with this. Imagine all this that I can put into this movie, how good it's going to be, right? And Lion King was I, apparently I, the plan I B. I have heard that, yeah. The, 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 it was the B crew. It was the B crew. Yeah, it was us. It was the <laughs> us's of the world, you know? <laughs> yeah. Not the first choice. I mean, we're not even the second choice, but... No. But the dudes that were like, you know, I don't really know if I'm meant to be here, but, you know, fake it till you make it. But you know, I like, like animals. So. I, can, I, can, I can, like, sketch some lines. I can do that. Yeah, send me to Africa. I'll be able to sketch a line. And they did do that, and they did a very... Good job of it. I, I thought the animation was good, especially for 1994. That's real good. I, like, not only is the animation good, but and I know that this is, you know, when when I think people sometimes forget, and by people I mean specifically myself, that when people are doing an animated movie, they're not just like the, the things aren't working by themselves. Like they're thinking of the shots. They think they're like directors themselves. They're thinking. Where am I going to do? What am I going to do here? How am I going to present this? They also have this? to hand draw everything. They also have to hand draw everything. That's wild. Because when you think about, like, I mean, the best scene to just show, like, the flurry of how good this movie is, and just all the, all the, like, it's packaged into one little scene just to show, like, how top tier this is, is the wildebeest. Wildebeest thing. I'm pretty sure that's hand drawn, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I'm look, gonna look that up. Look real that quick, up. Just but before. the wildebeest scene, the wildebeest scene, not only is it an intense scene. But also just, you know, they do the dolly zoom on Simba. That's yeah. some Jaws action, right? Awesome. The the emotion on Simba's face, the that, that's a scary scene. That's a that's a good scene, yeah. That's a good scene. And that shows like that's 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 a little snippet. If you just showed someone that scene of that of this movie, they'd be like I think it is hand drawn. What, what like yeah. this is wild. How have you guys done this? This is wild and this is world of beasts. Yeah, this is wild of beasts. You know? I think that, that scene in itself is is a true testament to like how much work these dudes put in, but also how much work goes behind animating. Because that that's that's beyond me. Yeah, we could try. I mean, we'll do it for a YouTube video if that's like if that's the algorithm. What the, you know, that's if it really pleases the algorithm. Wants. Now, going back to the songs, you know you're going to have some slappers in the mix when you got like Elton coming in. Who's Elton? You got like Mister, you're like Mister John. Like bring your big old glasses in here. Let's do this. Was Mr. John uh, consulted? Was he writing songs? Bro, he's, can you feel like the love of this evening that he did that song? This evening? Yeah. Now, like, can you, you son of Mufasa, <laughs> can you feel the love this evening? <laughs> yeah, dude. And, and like Hans Zimmer was like, do I get intimidated by a man like Mr. John? Or do I That's like, two goats. I, that's, that's, that's what he's saying. He's like, you know, we're goats of the game. Like, I'm not getting intimidated. We're, we're, we're putting out a slapper together. Yeah. Like when Kendrick and J. Cole come together. When they did that one Black Friday song. Yeah, what was it called? Like I don't think Friday, they did it together. Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Yeah, that's the one yeah. I think, yeah. And they were in the backseat of a convertible. Yeah. I think they just got their license. Yeah. Which is a slapper of a song. Absolutely. Like I mean that got hits. That got hits that we could only dream of. I know. Yeah. Get one boat. Get young bo- get one boat. 
<laughs> get Yumbo to 1K. Get Yumbo to 1K, hashtag. We're going to keep that going until it gets to 1K. That's right. And then we'll quit YouTube. We won't quit YouTube. My, my uncle, I rang, I rang my uncle. Well, he rang me. I rang him. I'm, he missed my call. I ra- he rang me back. <laughs> Yeah, you know, just you know, your poor guru, my poor guru. Like, yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, I, yeah, I didn't want to go. You know, I rang my uncle, and he goes, "No, I, I rang you." <laughs> Not that he'd say that, but you know. <laughs> yeah, what was he saying? No, he was saying, you know, Yumbo's almost at one k, and I said, "Yeah, hashtag get Yumbo to one k." But you like just just like watch it, like get everyone you know to watch it. Just get just get absolutely everyone you know. Just spam email people. Sp- email people until they have to block you. No, that's that's guerrilla marketing. We're gonna have to do a lot of blocking on our Gmail. Yeah, account. I know. We're gonna yeah. There's 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 too many like Peggy, bro, if you're out there, man, like come come to the stew and touch <laughs> these hands. But other than <laughs> that, But no, Vincent, is there is there a song that like for you was like this is this is this is the one for me. This is the slapper for me. I mean there's a the first one, Circle of Life. Circle of Life. Until the lady starts singing and I go, yeah, it's mm. Yeah. But when it starts, you know, that start, it's the greatest it's great. And that's uh, iconic. In this, you know, I don't want to be a, a parrot just saying what Hans Zimmer said, but Hans Zimmer said some facts in this documentary. He was like, I just wanted people to know from the get go that this is not it's not just a typical movie. Like we're going in hard from the start. Because it starts off with, you know, the dude saying whatever he happens to say in what I think is Swahili. And, you know, obviously the sunrise, all that. The song goes in and then it just goes boom. And it stops, and it's Lion King. Yeah, and it's just like okay, okay. You've given me, you've essentially given so me now a whole here. trailer for this movie. You didn't need a trailer. You gave me the trailer. Then I'm excited. I'm hyped, and yeah. I'm already in the cinema at this point. But I'm still hyped. I might get another ticket. <laughs> I might go. I'm like, bro, I need to get two of these just for the hype. <laughs> I need a seat for my hype. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy this, and I'm gonna frame it, and as a collectible. That's what people are thinking. That's what people are thinking, and, and you'd, you'd wish. I that they really did. also did like the. Circle of Life song, everything's good, and they went straight to Scar. I like that transition. I thought that was cool. Yeah. And it, it does show that, like, Scar's not in the mix. Scar that's right. Is, it shows the two sides yeah. of uh, of the, the Circle of Life or whatever the, you know, some metaf- insert some metaphor here that makes me sound smart. I would like to, before we insert that metaphor, because I would like to insert that metaphor at some point, and talk about Scar. I would also just like to quickly touch on the fact that Can't Wait to Be King is... Oh, that's another good song, yeah. And again, not only a good song, but also, you know, harmonious with what's going on on screen. You know, Zazu's... Like, Rowan Atkinson's involved. He, you know, yeah. Mr. Bean's very own's involved. That's yeah. when they had all the elephants on and then the giraffes on top of the elephants, on top of the flamingos and... And it's like, you know, how much... You imagine, they saw that in Africa. They was like, bro, this is when <laughs> this is once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. <laughs> you got to draw that now because it's not going to happen again. Dave, get your head out of the line and look at this. <laughs> yeah, dude. Now that was wild. But yeah, let's let's get into uh, let's get into specific characters here, and we'll talk about Scar to begin with. Yeah, we've got Jeremy Irons. We've got Alfred's very own. He's the new Alfred in the new the Batman and the new the Justice League movies. Oh, okay. Oh, and it's like a yeah. I thought I recognized his voice, but I couldn't. Couldn't pin it, but Jer- Jeremy Irons. That opening scene with him just shows he's he's frustrated with what's going on in the world, and he he's planning, he's plotting something, and he knows that it's going to work because he is so confident in what he's doing, and he's just he, he, you can tell from like I mean Jeremy Irons has just got that voice where you'd be like this is a sinister dude. Good voice. You didn't have to even say sinister things. That's you right. Know? Which you know when he's I mean. He, it's a bit on the nose when he's talking to his when he's talking to his nephew when Simba comes in yeah he's like literally saying like you know I'm gonna whack your dad off or well, that doesn't sound nice <laughs> that doesn't sound that doesn't sound like what I meant for it to sound like <laughs> <laughs> bro he's a family bro, friendly podcast this family what's going on here podcast, but like that was not what I intended <laughs> my intentions these were not my intentions officer <laughs> oh man I, uh, you, if you murder someone you say these were not my intentions officer they'd be yeah. like well that's manslaughter then you know that's man should we just should we just call it there yeah man's man's is slaughtered now you know that's wild let's get into like Zazu or something yeah you know? let's that. <laughs> I didn't I didn't I mean Scar as a character I thought he's fine but I don't think he gets as much like he gets play but once he's once he's out of the story he's out of the story until the final act 
really. That's right. I well, mean, yeah, he's at the, the start and then, yeah. I mean, there's parts where, you know, obviously he is Nala and the other uh, lionesses are, are like, you know, arguing with him and things like that and he's... That's only a little bit, yeah. But there's, 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 only, there's only small pieces of that. Obviously, I would love to have seen more Scar initially leading up to it, him plotting things. Yeah, I, f- I feel like... Him saying some sinister things, you know? Yeah, I mean, he just straight up kills Mufasa too as well. Yeah, that's yeah. wild. Which, and he, But like one liner that he does is pretty good. Yeah. Like, long live the king. And he killed him. So how can he live long, you know? But he like the memories. He's you talking know? about himself. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Man, see, that's that's the that's the metaphor. That's the metaphor. Insert that's that metaphor. metaphor back there. Insert that metaphor back Editor there. Editor of this podcast. But the, the best thing about Scar, I would say, is the three goons. The the three uh, the three main hyenas, I don't know. I know that one of them's Whoopi Goldberg. I don't know who the other ones are. I don't know. But bro, they're hilarious. You reckon? Yeah, I hundred percent think that they're funnier than Timon and Pumbaa. There was one, yeah. Oh, there was one part I actually laughed at. I can't. I should have written it down. Like Ed? Did I? Is it Ed? I don't know. The bro Ed just doing funny things. Like I mean, Ed is you know Ed is what he is. No, nah, I think it was something that Rafiki said after. Rafiki's. Dude, I almost forgot about Rafiki. Right, you almost forgot. But I think that those hyenas provide, and I guess it's because they're also not in it as much, so they can provide that comedic effect and be crazy, but not be yeah, over the because top. Because they're not in in it for that much. That's they can right. just come in, few lines, see you later. And the thing is, if you're not in it for, if you're only in it for five minutes, you can be as wild as you want. That's right. Because people will be like, oh, now I can rest. But I, that now was hilarious. I can rest. Oh, that was hilarious. I need a break. I would say, out of all the characters, though, you, I'm glad that you mentioned him. Rafiki's probably Rafiki's cool because he just rocks up at the end does some kung fu right at the end <laughs> but he also spits some knowledge oh he absolutely spits some knowledge you know when he smacks Simba in the head yeah it's in the past bro still like you know we, what we know about CTE now like that's yeah, not in the should, past shouldn't be do- <laughs> that's, that's, that's coming into your future that's coming into the future that's, yeah. that's long live the CTE <laughs> that's what it is yeah, dude, like, make sure your head, like, that's that's the most important part of your body. Protect your head. Protect your head. Not in the same way that, like, Ice Cube would tell you to do it. Or he'd say protect your neck. Or is that Wu-Tang? I, I think, think that's, that's Wu-Tang. Wu-Tang. That's Wu-Tang, Wu-Tang. protect your neck. Yeah, it's protecting your neck. I, um, so I wrote down here, do they know how the sun works? Don't think they do. No. Because the whole, you know, everything that touches, the sun, the light touches is yours. <laughs> Bro, that's the whole world. You've just given him the earth. Yeah, well, I think that's what he's given him. Yeah, well, but at least how, the, the earth that they know of. You know, back in those days, especially yeah, if you're a lion, you'd assume that the end, like... But they didn't have any, you know, Pythagoras's or Plato's or, you know, they didn't ever have any of those math heads. They didn't have Plato then. They, like, they how are they meant to make them do craft and arts without Plato? But also, you know, sun, astrology. Yeah, that's right. Because they're going, oh, that shadowy place. They're also animals. Oh, come on, yeah. You know, all, all the all the lions thinking about is like one, especially a male lion. All I'm thinking about, or all a male lion is thinking about, is where can I sleep? Where can I procreate? That's it. Yeah, that's the only jobs that they have. And how can I kill the current king? And how can you kill the current king? Yeah, yeah. And like you know, the funny thing about having, and I know that they have the whole hyena army there, but the funny thing about Scar being king after there's about 100 lionesses like what they couldn't have just beat him <laughs> no, up no. <laughs> killed the, like he's like I am king Mufasa is dead he's like well now you're dead <laughs> <laughs> he's, also, he's like oh hey yeah he's also a skinny lion you know he's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying but that's why the yeah. alpha lion is the alpha lion is because he's built like friend of the show Richard but also like a <laughs> brick you know house where you do things you do right? things yeah whereas our, our friend not of the show, but friend Scar, he's built like he's, you know, the opposite of Brick. He's like the first piggy house. Yeah, Nala and uh, um, what's uh, Simba's mum's name? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, they should have just said, you know, abolish the monarchy and smack it. <laughs> yeah, they should have listened to Francesca in the last they episode. absolutely should have. Or two episodes ago. Yeah. Yeah, but no, you know, Scar's, Scar's got, I mean, he has a hyena army, but that's a lot of hyenas as well. That's a lot of hyenas. Which You're thinking, how do they survive out there? <laughs> Living off of scraps. That's yeah. how they survive. You can't. There's only That's so why. many scraps. That's why they call scraps. 
<laughs> you know yeah, what we I mean? could insert so many metaphors here. There's, there's so many metaphors. Uh, I'll, let's let's talk quickly about Timon and Pumba. Timon and Pumba. Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. Uh, you know, as I've grown up and become a man, <laughs> I've realised that yeah, they funny, were they were hilarious. Yeah, they were pretty funny. But I mean, you know, I'm not going to be the person that's sitting here and saying fart jokes aren't hilarious because they are. If I hear a dude fart, like I'm laughing. Yeah, but they weren't fart jokes. You know, he farted and he was like, you know, some smelly water. Yeah, that was, that's what I mean. That was just like the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly Part of the right. song, that's it. And I was, I was cackling. Yeah, see, I wasn't cackling. That wasn't fart jokes for me. I was like, that man. That was fart <laughs> songs, bro. I don't do fart songs. <laughs> that's a different category. It's hard to jump. Yeah, I, I it's can't do it. hard to make it. the jump. Yeah, no, that's true. Did, didn't, didn't they do like a, like, Timon held up his tail and he was like, oh, hey, stand back. No, I don't think so. Okay. Could be wrong. And also the luau thing, like, apparently that's hilarious. That's not hilarious. No, but people loved it back in, in the documentary. They are like, this is the greatest thing ever. Oh, the dude that animated There it. was about like five, six minutes where they were just talking about the luau scene. This is my masterpiece. <laughs> not the animator, the, the like, oh. actors. Actors. <laughs> like the Matthew Broderick types. Yeah, no, that wasn't... Yeah, yeah. I, it was fine. It was fine. It was fine. I also think that Simba, as a character... And I mean, I understand, you know, he is flawed and that's yeah. what it is about. And he it's also about may him. be a Jesus. It, you, I mean, you never know. From what that Google answer told us, it's a maybe. It's absolutely maybe. It's a maybe. But I find that, you know, he's a flawed character and he is, he is worried and he is concerned about that he's not going to fill in the footsteps. He's not going to live up to what his father was because he wasn't able to live a whole life with his father, right? But also... Simba's not that strong of a character. No, it's kind of... He does what he wants. He's Well, he's not... I almost feel like he's not even in the movie. Yeah, I mean... He's in. I know he's in, yeah. but it feels like he's not even in the movie. It's, he seems like he's a, he's a passive main character. Exactly. And it's and I mean, a, a part of it's probably because he grew up in, in, the, in a matter of one song. So we didn't get to that's see true, him grow yeah. up. And I understand, like you know, Hakuna Matata things. Like I'm eating grubs now. Mm. Like I, that's I, that's development, I guess. But it's not a full fledged. This oh, I understand why you're like this. I understand why you're chilling here. But you know, at yeah. the end of the day, they made this movie that not only is a great mixture of metaphors inserted in different places, yeah, but is a family friendly and fun movie. So yeah, like sometimes you just got to throw in a song family there. Family friendly, but there's a lot of killing in this. I mean, there's killing, but you'll see death. Yeah, no, no, I, I know, but it's not the actual killing that is the the death. It's that <laughs> I'll kill you. Oh, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I swear they said that about three, four times. Yeah, in a movie. And the 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 fire scene is pretty intense at the end. Yeah, when everything's burning and people are just like, well, are we just we're scrapping now. That's what I mean. There's just a whole bunch of fighting. I didn't like that about the movie, you know? I feel like there was a lesson there, but they reached it in the wrong way. Yeah. You know, Mufasa, uh, Mufasa, you know, Mufasa died. Simba found out that Scar killed him. And then, I don't know, I feel like there could have been more growth for Simba if he wasn't so, I'm going to smack you and whatever, you know, you know what I mean? Like he, he, no one he, knows what I mean, but you know what you, I mean. You're saying he, you wish he chose another path because violence led to all of these issues. Yeah, that's right. Right in some other. Well, I'm gonna give you a couple reasons for that. Can I give you a couple yeah, reasons? Give me a couple reasons. One, the animals. I, I, I knew that was gonna be your first reason. <laughs> I understand that, but they're also talking animals. Yeah, they, are, they are talking animals. So and this is also a, a, a film. This is a film. This is that's true, and like you know. So that's my rebuttals for the first that's reason. That's true. So you've taken me on that one. Yeah. You've won that debate. I've won that one, yeah. Also, what are we going to get? The, the, my, 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 only, my only query with your response, you know, see my previous email, but my only query with your <laughs> response is that is that if that final fight scene didn't, have, it didn't happen, would we have a scene in which Simba was like, you must leave and, and Scar is like- I respect you. Okay. <laughs> That just reminds me of the scene from Community when uh, Betty White is the... Do you remember that? I remember Betty White being in it, but I might not remember this scene. Well, the the main character of this TV show, Community, they have a 
a task to, you know, there's seven different tools. Which one's the most oh, yeah. important for for mankind? Yeah. And then, you know, he gets up and says, it's you know, they have some sort of like emotional, you know, thing that they've reached or whatever. <laughs> and he goes, it's not in that box. It's respect. And then Betty White goes, okay, well, I actually think it's a combination of all seven <laughs> tools to make a deadlier weapon. So you use respect to fight against me. And then he, she's like strangling him on the ground and he's going, I respect you. <laughs> that's what I, I do remember that. That's yeah, hilarious. That's hilarious. Because she has like- I'll try and put that clip like on the Like a crossbow yeah. with like the, the dog catcher on it. Yeah, that's yeah. right. There's a tranquilizer gun for some reason. There's a noose. Community is 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 too top tier. It's actually absolutely too top tier. I'd love to do, you know, an episode on, you know, if they did, you know, seven seasons in a movie. Six seasons in a movie. Six seasons in a movie. They did six seasons. They didn't, they do, didn't a do a movie. Maybe they'll do it though. Because during COVID, they did a they, they did, did a, a yeah a talk or whatever it's called a read yeah table reads table read. Some of them weren't even on the table. They weren't on the table. They were just sitting in chairs. So anyway, what I'm going to say is yeah, go on. Respect no, I whatnot. don't know, but there could have been some sort of resolution that involved Scar um, meeting his own demise from himself. Yeah, not not through other events that were coincidental you know something you know him trying to be on top by any means <laughs> so i was just thinking of how he could meet his own demise like he's <laughs> like bro you know what i can't wait to go back and see where i killed my brother and he goes <laughs> there and he's like and he's like he's, he's on the edge and he's oh, like bro these are loose rocks <laughs> <laughs> and these rocks are loose bro <laughs> and he's scrambling he's like hey, help me <laughs> and he's just dies where are those bloody hyenas <laughs> And then like, who's going to say long live the king? He's going to have to say it to himself. That's right. And then what, do they just go into the woods and like, Simba, bro, just come back. Like it's no, fine now. No, obviously Simba would be back <laughs> at that point. It wouldn't be, hey, uh, Scar's dead. Hey, there's Simba. Bro, you want to come back and be king? And just watch out for the loose rocks because it seemed to get two of the last kings. Yeah. I also didn't like when... Scar said to all the females, Simba, are you going to tell them what happened? You killed your father? Dude was, you know, a child. Yeah. And, you know, his mother's going, oh, is that, is that true? Bro, they were about to throw him out into the to the gutter. Like, he's barely done doing Goo Goo Gaga. And That's what I mean. They're putting him, you know, not to say Jesus, not to, you know, call him a Jesus, but they're putting him up on the cross. <laughs> Dude, they're absolutely crucifying him. They're crucifying that man. So I, I understand that, that that last scene is... It just I seemed, think that Simba say, yes, I did kill my father. Yeah, something like that. And then like... But also... Fa- yeah. Mother of Simba's like, oh, well, that's fine. No, nah, she doesn't I, do I would have killed him anyway. There was no... There was no... Um, there was just a... I don't know. He's, he's just nothing really happened came from it. that. There yeah, nothing no really came of that. No. They just started fighting. Yeah, and then Scar said, oh, I killed your father. This is how I killed him, like this. And then yeah. Simba goes, but you didn't expect this. And he just jumps from nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through the fire and whatnot. Yeah, and the scar goes, bro, I didn't expect it. That that scene in itself, though, that final battle, is very much to me, it very much feels out of place for the rest of the movie. So I understand why you're saying you didn't like that violence in there. Because it does feel out of place. Because it's like, we've got this whole movie where it's talking about, you know, Metaphors, insert metaphor here, insert metaphor yeah, there. Being carefree, hakuna matatas. And then it's just like, let's do fire and and, yeah. and I understand the fire, you know, it was very obviously coincidental that they're lightning in the fire because you had to have the destruction for then the circle of life to everything come back and everything's green and we're all good and, you know, we're making more children. You see, I, right. I, I know, That's, I know. You, I, haven't, I haven't not thought of see, this. See, I, yeah, I didn't think of that. I didn't think of that. Oh, you didn't think of I that. I didn't think of the I fire thought that's what and, you were going to say. No, I was just saying that it just seemed out of place. But yeah. now that you've brought that up, like it, the fire and stuff seemed, I thought that was fine. Not the specific fire. I was saying just like the a fighting, battle scene. Yeah, at the end. I, don't, I don't know. It just, I don't know. I'm not a professional reviewer. You know, we haven't got 200 five star ratings on Apple Apple Podcasts, no, so we, we don't know. We yeah, do we, we're not certified reviewers. But that's that was my take on it. it. Just it just did feel out of place, which yeah, you know, it is what it is. A circle of life, man. Yeah, you added a good point there. And speaking of the circle of life, this movie spawned three sequels and three sides to a circle. So the had the or two, yeah, had Pythagoras the, uh, worked that one out. Had Lion King two, Simba's Pride, yeah, where like a scar-like character came 
you know, Dishonored, Disgrace, he is the one with the scar on his face. Like, that's one of the songs. Back when I was growing up, it was a slapper. Well, there was another scar, man. He was like a young kid who sort of looked like scar. I'm not sure if like scar had a child, you know, out of Pride Rock. Out but, of wedlock. Yeah. No, instead of wedlock, it's Pride Rock. Yeah, out of... Out of uh, so, um, then there was also Lion King 1.5, which is that gap when Simba was with Timon and Pumbaa. 1.5. Yeah, it's also Lion King 3, but they call it 1.5 because it's like in the middle of 1 and 2. You know, it's a bit of a fun thing because like Timon and Pumbaa. 1 and 2, hill. as in it was Simba's kid? No, no, no. It was Simba. No, sorry, it wasn't in between 1 and 2. It was, it was before. Just, it, was prequel. it was within 1. It was just 100% of almost, yeah, that's it right. It was just Lion King 1. But the bits you didn't see, that's what it said. That's, that's what it should have said. <laughs> Lion King 1, in parentheses. <laughs> but the bits you didn't see. But And then they also, which I have not watched, they also made the live the live action remake or li- no, not live action a, they still, it's still yeah. animated and amazingly animated yeah I haven't seen that one but also I haven't seen it but also like how, how can you get emotion that's right like, I see my cat my cat just looks like it's emoting <laughs> like it wants to kill folk but that's the only emotion I'm getting that's right I don't get a I don't get a wide range I don't get a diverse range of nah, emotions no that's right they're not, not very expressive no or well, at least your cat isn't my cat just kills folk <laughs> well at least she wants to that's the plan you got you got you got some things. I that got you're some tell uh, me? good. I got some things. Um, I right here. What kind of answer is that to who are you? Rafiki asks him, "Who are you?" There's something else that he said after that, and I don't know. Anyway, that's that's irrelevant because I've forgotten what that's, I've written that's about fine. that. That's fine. Uh, Simba just leaves after talking to Rafiki. He doesn't tell Timon, Pumbaa, or Nala. <laughs> They're like, hey, where, where's Simba? I don't know. I thought he was with you. I thought he was with you. <laughs> yeah. Rafiki goes, "You'll never find him," and that's it. Yeah. And then they find him. And then they find him. They do find him. Uh, Scar's just going to like burn his whole kingdom to the ground and act like that's cool. But he also like lived in squalor before. So like... Yeah, but... He'd be fine with He'd still be getting fed. Oh, he, he, the thing is, like Scar's in a position where he could just eat the hyenas. <laughs> like, why is he stressing, man? He's got control of these hyenas. Hey, you... Sid, the one that doesn't say much. Come here. <laughs> Takes a bite. He's just like this is this is horrible, but it's what I signed up for. Yeah, that's right. There's too much death in this movie. There's a lot of death, and you know what? Some cases there should have been more death. I should have. I should have. There was too much killing. Killing. Yeah. Killing. Because like death is a part of the circle. It's part of the circle circle of life. life. You can't. You can't get around that. But killing, you can get around it by just not killing folk. Ah, this you've you've solved it. Being a pacifist. Yeah. You know. Being a passive aggressivist. You know. (laughs) Just so be real sarcastic when people talk to you. Are there any are there any hits that you want to just briefly talk about? I want to talk about just the will to be scene, just because that's wild. That's unbelievable. Yeah, that's that's a, such a tense scene. Yeah, and I think that you know, obviously, it's it starts off with them because what 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 is the cause of the thing? Well, the hyenas cause the will to be. To, that's right. To stampede, what do they do again? But Simba is a in slap the valley. One of the booty. Something like that. Yeah. And Simba is practicing his roar. So I'm assuming that's what he thinks killed his father because he roared. And he, you know, it's more like a like your cat meowing. Yeah. But so, it, does, it does create the rumble and then, and then creates No, that the, doesn't create the rumble. No, no, no. As in, sorry. As it in, happens yeah, that's it coincides right. with the rumble. Incidental. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm assuming that's why he thinks – because he's a kid, you know, that's why. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do? You think you're superpowers. You open a door. You know what I mean? I had had that door open. I thought it was heavier. <laughs> but the wildebeest coming over that hill. Yeah. Uh, you're just like. That was wild. And obviously. And, and seeing Mufasa dip, yeah. duck, dodge, and dive. He went to that school. He went to that school. And then he gets so close. He oh. gets so close. But Scar was there, you know, help me, brother. Yeah. Hey, brother, here you go. Yeah, long live the king. Long live the king. Also, cats, like, I know that was a long way. But if he jumped up all that way. Like, man's could have landed on his feet at least. Yeah, because he he ran up that rock. He ran up the rock, yeah. I know he, he did get thrown off, I guess. He did get thrown off. Yeah, look, we, we can we can call on a few technicalities, but yeah. we won't. Do you think that keeping Mufasa in as, you know, he lives in you, he lives in me, he lives in all the people, is that from this movie? I don't know. Yeah, well, do you think that having him, you know, as that, as that man in the sky helping him guide his path, do you think that that was a, a nice touch? Because I, I love I loved all those bits between them. I think all the bits between Simba and Mufasa are really nice. I thought it was only at the end when he sees his father. Oh, no, it was when Rafiki... 
Or maybe it's maybe it's Rafiki's talking to Mufasa. Right, I, but at the end, uh, you I know, feel like I haven't watched the movie. I watched it last night. No, in my mind, it's a, probably a lot longer than it is. But it's probably only like two minutes of them talking at the end. And he's like, "You, you are man. my son." And then Bleeding Gums Murphy comes up. Yeah, and that's he's like, <laughs> that was the picture in my head. <laughs> the Bleeding Gums Murphy yeah, with like Darth Gums, Vader yeah. as well. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Maybe I'm just thinking of The Simpsons. Yeah, right. Who knows? You never know, man. You could be thinking of something, but it's just The Simpsons. <laughs> they they've did done so everything. many things. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And the 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 final hit is probably just, uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's it. it One does, thing it feels I'd, like there should be more hits. There should be more hits. Yeah, I I actually to just sum up my thoughts. I thought it was fine. It's a fine movie. Yeah. It's got some hits, but yeah, I don't know. It just didn't do it for me because the ending was a bit. I don't really vibe with the ending. I don't think the ending is very good. I also either. don't. Yeah, I just didn't think it was. It's fine. I wouldn't sign up for Disney Plus for it. I would Actually, no, up, I would. Yeah. Just for that first song. Just for that first first song. You know, for the wildebeest. For the, for the you know. And it's iconic. You got to watch the movie. You know, it's a. You got to. Yeah, and this is the thing. When you talk about, if you say to someone, "What is your top three Disney movies?" Eight times out of ten, someone's going to put The Lion King in there. Yeah, that's and true. And I'm saying top three. I'm not even saying top five. I'm saying top three because Lion King one is is also one of those ones that we all watched as young children and we've just kept it in there because it is such a good movie. But we've just kept it in there without actually rewatching it. Yeah, like Spider Man Two. Spider Man Two is still a good movie. It's trash. It's still a good movie, Sucks. Vincent. All right, We're going to talk going. about this. And two, it's because most of these people haven't seen Mulan and they don't understand how good Disney movies yeah, can Mulan actually be. Mulan is unreal. Also, I remember watching Anastasia as a kid and I remember liking that movie. I don't know if that's Disney. I think that's like Disney-esque. Is like it? Some man was oh. like, dude, I've got to get on this hype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They went, he went to that wine and cheese night and they, they had the... the what's <laughs> under take, this? What's under this one? <laughs> he was taking notes. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. He was yeah, taking yeah, notes. Yeah. I'm no, one knows him, no one knows me. No, but I think Anastasia, you know, it's got like Rasputin in it. It's yeah. like Russian things. Yeah, it's Russian. Russian fairy yeah. tales. Russian fairy tales. I don't think that that's Disney, but it is very Disney-esque. But you'll find bro, out. Bro, it's there. Soon. Bro, it's Anastasia. Is it Disney though? It's Disney. Well, I mean, it's, it is Disney now. What's the movie that everyone assumed was Disney, but it's not Disney? Also, there's a whole, you know, underlying is is Lion King a ripoff of of Kimber the White of the Lion. the Bible. And the Bible. Of who? Kimber the White Lion. Which what's, is another, which is that? another, you know, it's a story about a lion and like the dad's a lion and the mum's a lioness but, but maybe but, but might the lion be a Jesus the lion could be a Jesus okay so yeah that's 100% that's 100% Same. but I think this movie is worth the subscription yeah, I, to I, Disney I still Plus think it's worth it. and the admission I think that the final scene if you cut it out like I mean you don't even have to watch it man you watch it up to the point up to honestly Can you, you feel could the just watch tonight? the start of the movie and the wildebeest scene and you're good you watch up to Can You Feel the Love Tonight you've got a good movie on your yeah. hands you got a good movie in your hands but hey Actually, us up. Hold on. One thing we have to discuss is for the thumbnail for this this video that you always see. It, do you want to be Rafiki or do you want to be Simba getting held up by Rafiki? Because we one of us is going to be one of them, one of the other is going to be well, other. Yeah? I mean, on this show, but more specifically in our in our real lives, one of us has been like referred to more as <laughs> what the baby lion? <laughs> yeah, the baby or the lion, baboon. I say, I, I, not, not a baboon, but I'm just saying like. You call me a baboon. I'm not saying ape like features, you know? Also, it's a mandrel. <laughs> you know? Oh, is that a mandrel? Well, oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I even went to the zoo and saw You know, because mandrels, they got that pretty face, man. Yeah. They got that colorful face. Whereas baboons, they, they got, got them fruits on a stick. They will smack people with like them coconuts or whatever they are. CTEs, bro. Man, no one understands. But, Vincent, you do me on Rafiki because I'm, I'm, I'm a fool. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know that I would offend you if I brought up the fact that like, I've called you Caesar on many occasions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're Rafiki then. But hey, Vincent, you tell them where they can find us and also tell them about the Patreon very quickly. Yeah, hey, sign up to the Patreon. $2 US dollars. We can probably change that to Australian as well. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hey, two, money we can get. <laughs> two US dollars. You get so much content. There's so much there. So much there. Oh. There's, there's, there's 44 episodes if out. We're going to go through spam emails. What's not to love? Well, so yeah, yeah. We're going to go... Also through one of my encounters when I was oh his in toilet the bathroom, encounters you know yeah, in a public space Apo seems to always run into strange individuals in bathrooms it's key it's key to my life yeah uh, we're on Instagram follow us on Instagram we sometimes put funny things on there I shout guess. out shout out the pool guru shout out oh, your shout pool out my needs. pool guru your pool guru his pool guru could be my pool guru that's right all right uh, is that all yeah farewell. Well.